So this is our off-grid bicycle powered clothes washer and we simply fill it up with this garden hose right here um, through the front door until it's at the bottom level of the um, glass, kind of where it would be. We estimate that to be about seven gallons of for a heavy load, you know. It, um, and then all I did back here was get on the flywheel. On the back of this, there was a flywheel that the, um, the belt ran on that went down to the um, motor. And it had spokes like a wheel, five of them. So I just cut out this flywheel and bolted it on, easy to screw through, and then created another so, you know, circle that kept the keeps the uh, chain out of the uh, way for the um, the little screws, and it's really easy. It's easy work. Nothing to it. Um, didn't see. I saw a few YouTube videos of how to do this, but thought it might be helpful for folks to get some different angles that weren't really available. Um, in terms of the level of difficulty, it's just not difficult. Downside so far is that we don't have, um, you can see, level of effort with no clothes and no waters, you know, just easy, um, is that we don't have a spin cycle. And so what I'm thinking about doing is getting a half size gear and then taking it off. You can see I've got the bike blocked there and back there and I have a second set of blocks for the smaller chain ring and spin it twice as fast because I can't get the RPMs even, you know, at my full effort to make it happen. But it's great. Works wonderfully. Oh, to drain, just take the drain tube um, and lower it below the, uh, the level of the, uh, you know, just put it down on the ground. We put it into that container and then we use that to water our plants.